We're getting there, getting to Umeda station after a brief passage in the underground um, arcades where you can see beautiful street art. We went to the lively hotel where you, my boyfriend, as I previously said, uh, painted this incredible mural. He's an artist, so we went to check. days to do this so I was really proud of him and this is just me goofing around near the mural I think it's really beautiful but in the subway we decided to check out the Osaka Castle Park unfortunately because of coronavirus it wasn't possible to visit inside the castle we had a good time in the park it was really calm almost no one was here so it was quite enjoyable here's the castle just a snippet of it and the sky was gray unfortunately so I feel like the colors are a bit faded but you know a good day and this is around the castle there's a lot of vegetation a lot of grass and there's a small river it's really peaceful after that we went back to the arcade outside walking around the streets and you know I'm sure you can kind of like what Osaka feels like it's really industrial I kind of think of it as the Berlin of Asia of Japan maybe like super industrial but super cool and kind of you know, crunchy this is the food street so we were looking for a place to eat and we found that restaurant which is apparently the oldest restaurant in that street it's like a hundred years old or something and we decided to eat okonomiyaki which I don't really know how to explain it but it's kind of a pancake so this is what we did I had a bit of a kumquat juice I think it was kumquat these are takoyaki with um, yeah it's like squid um, squid <laughs> bowls, I guess. <laughs> it's really yummy. And these are okonomiyaki. And I can't remember the name of the one on the uh, right. It was cheese and noodles together. Uh, I think it was called cheese something. Cheese. Uh, I can't remember it. But it was really delicious. I love eating so much. And this restaurant. Then we went out in the street again, walking around, going around, and this little guy I think is super emblematic of uh, the city for some reason. Like you can buy candy and cakes and figurines with his face on it, which is I don't know why. This street was super cute, so I wanted to film it. it 
um, and it's just really um, quiet and um, really narrow. I liked it. So this is Osaka for you. I'm sorry that I couldn't make the video longer, but basically, you know, there was nothing. I didn't want to bother people by filming them and I always get a bit embarrassed when I have to vlog outside but I tried to give you the gist of it so you can have an idea oh this is the Pokemon Center, yeah I forgot about that we went to the Pokemon Center which is my absolute favorite place <laughs> no, I'm not that into it but yeah I'm kind of into it we went to the Pokemon Cafe, we had to like make reservation two hours ahead and to be honest with you guys, the food wasn't great. It was actually pretty bad. But you know, you don't really go there for the food. You go there for the ambience and um, how cute it all looks. But yeah, the tea especially was really bad. I ordered um, this fluffy Japanese pancake um, with fruits and tea. I'll see you.